Mosquitoes are annoying, they're pesky, they can be quite painful when you get bit. At the same time, they carry a lot of disease. And the way that currently the field evaluates different mosquito repellents or studies them is actually even more annoying and gross when you think about it. What they do is they take someone's arm and, and they put them in this giant vesicle filled with mosquitoes and they try to understand if the repellent is effective in getting these to stay off your skin and prevent biting. We wanted to come up with a better way to um, perform these experiments while making it cheaper, more efficient, more cost effective. This inspired us to think about innovative ways where we can actually create skin mimics to avoid having to have people like get their hands bit off by mosquitoes. Hydrogels are a special type of material that have a high water content and that's part of the reason why we're interested in them because the human body also has a very high water content. One of the properties about these hydrogels that we really like is through the materials that we're using to make them, they are 3D printable. And when you 3D print them, they have the consistency somewhere between, I like to say, jello and a gummy bear. So they're soft and squishy, but they also hold their shape. So when we 3D print them, we can print them with different channels inside, for example. A really innovative PhD student in the lab, Kevin Jansen, led this effort, which was aimed at really integrating a lot of different pieces, including 3D bioprinting, machine vision, understanding a lot about the biomaterial design so that we can create these skin models that mosquitoes would preferentially um, feed on. And with the machine vision, we could actually track this in real time. This research is important because it, it, we can potentially dissect better dissect how the transmission process of viruses and malaria parasites take place and potentially figure out a way to interrupt that process and help people from becoming infected. Well, I think the thing that makes this project really cool is how interdisciplinary it is. So in our lab at Rice, we are experts in 3D printing biocompatible materials, materials that are tolerated well by the body. And so we had established that we can effectively create whatever shape constructs we want using that. We also used machine learning to analyze our data very rapidly and more consistently than a person could do. And then the entire premise of this project is based on entomology, so studying mosquitoes. And so I think without any of those three components, this project would not have turned out the way it did. And so by collaborating with Tulane University, who are mosquito experts, we were able to bring all of these things together into a really cohesive and compelling project.